In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys the best ad blocker you guys can use for Safari. Yo, what's up, boys? Welcome back to another video. It's your boy, Technotrend, back at it again. And obviously, from the title of this video, you guys know we're going to be looking at one of the best Safari ad blockers that we know of. This does not include like some sort of VPN and this shouldn't slow down your Safari at all, which is the great part because I know a lot of the ad blockers work off of like a VPN, which ends up slowing down your internet, but luckily this one doesn't, which is great. So this is gonna be filtering out advertisements like pop-up ads, little banner ads, like tons of different types of ads. There's also great settings on here for uh, inappropriate websites, maybe for your kids or stuff like that. So. I'm going to be showing you guys how to set that up and we're going to be talking about it in a second. But yeah, before we do get started, here's our active shout out winner. All right, guys, that was our active shout out winner. If you guys want to win an active shout out, all you have to do is comment on my videos every time I upload and stay subscribed and you guys will win one for your channel. It's really easy to get one. And for our last announcement, Covert App. If you guys don't know what Covert Apps is, it's basically a place where you can get all your hidden applications from the App Store. Me and my team find applications that you guys would like, like, for example, movie apps, anime apps, sports TV apps, like things that are hidden on the app store, we definitely find and they're there ready for everyone. So if you guys are interested in using some of those apps for free, all you have to do is click the link in the description. It'll take you to a Discord server and you guys will be invited to join. All right, and without any further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. We're gonna be using the application Adblock Pro. So this is the app icon on it. It's like red and it's like a nice little color. But basically what we're gonna be doing is there's a couple steps in order to use this. So you guys gotta follow along or else you're gonna get lost. Once you install the application, the link is in the description below, or you could just look it up on the app store. You go inside and it's gonna show up with a little prompt saying you have to allow it in settings, which is true. So once you open it, all you have to do is go into settings. So we have to allow it in the Safari extensions tab. So go to Safari in the settings application. All right, next, now that we're here, we're gonna go to extensions. Then Adblock Pro will be on the extensions tab. So here for Adblock Pro, you wanna click on. And then for all these different types of safety features, you wanna turn them on so you can have the options readily available. Once they're on, you can go back to the app to give you some more functionality. So once we're in the application, you guys can go ahead and check out the list of different features that they have. Blocking ads is on already. And the greatest thing is like they even say 50% less data used because the ads are basically not loading uh, on your uh, data because they're blocking them. So which is actually pretty cool. Um, I'm very excited about that because I do use gigabytes of data a month. So tracking scripts, if you guys don't know what that is, basically websites like Amazon or Google basically track what you do and as well as other websites and they sell it to big companies so that they can basically try to sell you something. Basically, in a sense, tracking you. So they have tons of other features as well. Um, the one I have on is block adult sites so that like basically... If you look up uh, anything, it won't have like adult sites that are 18 plus, which is a great thing to have, especially if you have kids or anything like that. So yeah, I basically have these on. So the ones that I have on, you guys should have on too. And for the test to make sure this is working, you guys can go ahead and look up a random ad blocker test. You guys can see that we got a 71% rating. So those are the ads that were blocked, 71%, which is actually really good. That's basically it for today's video. Hope you guys did enjoy. Stay tuned for next time and I'll see you guys soon. Peace.